Hello everyone, welcome to another Pyro Gaming video. Since the Destiny servers were offline for me pretty much all day yesterday, I was not able to do a weapon review video. So now that it's Wednesday and the servers are back up, let's go ahead and take a look at this week's vendor weapons. The B29 Party Favor comes with an interesting roll this week with Head Seeker, Braced Frame for super good stability, or Pendant Magazine if you want to completely waste all that stability. Outlaw, Life Support, Side Options, Reflex, Quick Draw, and OEG. Side Options don't really matter, this is the only one that gives you any kind of boost and it's to reload. But either Outlaw or Life Support will be good on this, combined with Braced Frame and Head Seeker, and you have a potentially fun Pulse Rifle for the Crucible. If you're in need of a pretty good Crucible shotgun, then this week's 44 Curtain Call might be just for you. Final round, Rifled Barrel or Quick Draw, with Rifled Barrel being the obvious choice here. And Replenish in the Crucible, so that when you pop your super, you get some free special ammo back. Either that or Life Support if you tend to die a lot. I would personally go with Replenish. As far as muzzle options go, we have Smart Drift, Accurized, and Soft Ballistics. Smart Drift, or Accurized, being the best choice here, giving the boost to range and impact. Altogether, not a terrible option for the Crucible. This week's Assembly 2 Auto Rifle over at New Monarchy looks pretty good. We have Hidden Hand, Perfect Balance, or Hot Swap, with Perfect Balance being the obvious choice. And we also have High Caliber Rounds, which is going to stagger your enemies and for some reason give you a boost to range. For sight options, we have the Reflex Sight, the Quick Draw IS Sight, which gives you a boost to reload, and the OEG Rifle Scope, which increases your range just a bit more. Personally, this is the one that I would use. But with this, plus this, plus this, plus this, and you're going to have a very stable auto rifle that staggers your enemies quite a bit and also has really good target acquisition for the Crucible. If you are a fan of the Bullet Hose archetype, this one is definitely worth picking up this week. For all you hand cannon Crucible fans out there, the Free Will 3 over at New Monarchy looks okay. It comes with Hidden Hand, which is never a bad perk, gives you better target acquisition. Perfect Balance, which is good. Outlaw, which is good. Explosive Rounds, which is good. And over here we also have True Sight IS, Fast Draw IS, Quick Draw IS, with True Sight being the obvious choice. Explosive Rounds, either one of these will be okay, and Hidden Hand is going to make this a pretty decent and acceptable hand cannon in the Crucible if you are a fan of the Thorn archetype. For all of you PvE heavy machine gun enthusiasts, the First Citizen has an interesting role for you. Hidden Hand, Perfect Balance, or Life Leech, High Caliber Rounds, or Lightweight, CQB, Smooth, and Soft. I would go with Smooth Ballistics here. I would definitely pick High Caliber Rounds over Lightweight to stagger my enemies. I would pick Perfect Balance over Life Leech any day of the week. Combine that with Hidden Hand and you have yourself a pretty decent machine gun as far as this archetype goes. So if you are a fan of this archetype, this one could be worth picking up this week for PvE. So if you go by Dead Orbit this week and you check out their inventory, then you will see that there is pretty much nothing that is worth buying. The only thing that kind of comes close would be the Keystone 01 Scout Rifle that comes with Full Auto, Hidden Hand, and Outlaw, uh, but Full Auto's kind of pointless on this archetype since it fires so slow anyway. But yeah, I, I wouldn't even recommend you pick that up because it's not a very good roll. And yeah, that's it. We're just going to go ahead and say goodbye, Dead Orbit, and move on to the next one. This week's Wounded Scout Rifle could be a good option for you PvE Scout Rifle fans. It comes with Crowd Control, Small Bore, or Triple Tap. For PvE, I would definitely take tri Triple Tap. We also have Armor Piercing Rounds and Quick Draw. I would pick Armor Piercing over Quick Draw any day because for some reason it gives you a boost to range. And lastly, we have the MD Reflex Range Lens and OEG Rifle Scope. I prefer the Range Lens RLR5. It's a very clean lens that gives you pretty nice zoom. But not a spectacular roll, but it could potentially be one of those workhorse weapons if you use it the right way, so it's definitely worth checking out. If you are a fan of the Wrath of the Machine raid, more specifically Axis Phase 2, then this week's Warpath is something that you should probably pick up. Cluster Bomb does a lot of damage to Axis's legs during the Axis Phase 2 boss fight. Combine that with either Heavy Payload or Tripod to get more shots off. 
Flared Magwell and Quick Draw, neither one of these really matter. You're not buying it for these perks, you're buying it for Cluster Bomb and one of these. Our muzzle options, we have Warhead Veneers, Soft Launch, and Hard Launch. I would probably stick with either Warhead Veneers or Hard Launch if you want just a little bit more stability, even though it doesn't matter. But, like I said, Void Burn, plus either Tripod or Heavy Payload, plus Cluster Bombs, and you have an Axis Phase 2 only Rocket Launcher. Any activity outside of that, I would say don't even look twice at this. The Continental Auto Rifle being sold by the Vanguard Quartermaster this week looks pretty interesting. We have Persistence. This weapon grows more accurate the longer it is fired. Braced Frame. Increased Stability, almost maxing it out. Or Armor Piercing Rounds. I would definitely go with Braced Frame here, even though it does reduce my magazine. And we also have Focused Fire or Hip Fire, with Focus Fire being my favorite of the two. As far as our side options go, we have the Reflex, the Steady Hand IS, and the OEG, Steady Hand IS being my favorite of the three. Combine Steady Hand with Focused Fire, plus Braced Frame, plus Persistence, and you have yourself a pretty hard-hitting auto rifle for its archetype. This could potentially be very good in the Crucible, or okay in PvE. For all of you Crucible sidearm enthusiasts, this week's Teacup Tempest is your best option. Coming with rangefinder, either hand-loaded or high-caliber rounds, high-caliber rounds being the choice that you need to select, as well as Outlaw or Cascade, with Outlaw being the better of the two. Side options, we have True Sight IS, Sure Shot IS, and Quick Draw IS. Now these two sights are literally the best two sights in the game for hand cannons and sidearms, and it kind of comes down to... It kind of comes down to personal preference. A lot, of pe a lot of people think the true sight's better. A lot of people think the sure shot's better. Just try them both out. They feel slightly different, but ultimately they do the same thing. Combine that with outlaw, high caliber, and rangefinder, and you have yourself a very, very good PvP sidearm. And that is going to do it for the week, guys. This has honestly been one of the most lackluster weeks that we have seen since the inception of the weekly vendor reset. There were a few weapons that were kind of close to being good, but didn't quite have enough for me. Uh, with these videos, it honestly just comes down to preference. There's what I think is a god roll, you might, think, you might not think is a god roll, and vice versa. So a lot of this comes down to preference. I would still recommend that you guys go check out each vendor weapon for yourself to see if it's something that will mesh well with your playstyle. But other than that, that is going to bring this video to an end. If you enjoyed it, click like. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, I fucking love you. Thank you for watching, and take care, guys.